Shrimp are often misjudged as being unremarkable, but that's not the case at all. From being cleaners to scavengers, from being as small as a fingernail to as large as two bowling pins, shrimps have a big story to tell as the world's 2,000-plus species of shrimps play an important role in almost every aquatic ecosystem. They are a unique variety of marine crustaceans, typically found in rivers, seas, and even freshwater lakes that go through 16 different stages of life. One species of shrimp, the pistol shrimp, snaps its claws so hard that it briefly heats the water to 8,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the surface of the sun and louder than a gunshot. The snap releases extreme force, firing bullets of bubbles at 100 feet per second. A similar species, the mantis shrimp, delivers an explosive 60 miles per hour punch. The speed of this strike is comparable to that of a bullet leaving the barrel of a gun. They have been known to break aquarium glass and camera lenses when provoked. These wild and colorful crustaceans are bottom dwellers, which means they usually live on murky or sandy river banks and ocean floors. Some smaller subspecies are often found to live within sponges. Others, like the mantis shrimp, burrow into the sand, muck, coral, fissures, and rocks along the coast. With so many species living in a variety of habitats, it should not be surprising that shrimps are a rather diverse group of animals. These tiny aquatic creatures also contribute greatly toward keeping our water bodies clean. One of the most unique features of shrimp, however, is where their heart is located. But let's learn a bit more about shrimp before we get to this. The Anatomy and Life Cycle of a Shrimp Shrimp are swimming crustaceans with five pairs of legs and are hence called decapods. Of the five pairs of legs, two pairs have claws that are used for feeding, whereas the other three pairs are used for walking. Although they may look similar to crabs, thanks to their shiny hard exoskeleton, shrimp belong to a completely different family, genus, and species. The bodies of shrimps can typically be broken up into eight parts, including the head, abdominal segments, and the tail. Shrimps possess a pointed snout called a rostrum that can be utilized for both assault and defense. It may also help to support the shrimps if it swims backwards. They also possess compound eyes with panoramic vision and excellent movement detection. The heads of the shrimp are equipped with two pairs of whiskers or antenna, one long and the other short, that protrude from the head to act as a sensory organ. These whiskers allow the shrimp to feel where they contact, as well as smell or taste objects by sampling the chemicals in the water. The large antenna also assists the shrimp in orienting itself in relation to its immediate environment, whilst the small antenna assists in assessing how viable a prey is for capture. One of the most surprising features of the shrimp is the fact that while the sexes are separate in some species, in others, the shrimp begins its life as a male. But after one mating period, however, the animal undergoes a transformation and becomes a female. The females can store sperm from many mates and in turn aid in reproduction by laying eggs that hatch into more shrimp. Another interesting finding regarding shrimp is that in some species, the female shrimp just scatters the fertilized eggs into the water, leaving the young to develop on their own. These eggs then hatch and change shape and form as they develop from larvae into fully sexually mature animals. The lifespan of an average shrimp is expected to be around one to two years. In some species, the adult shrimp even dies shortly after breeding as well. But there also exists others which live as long as seven years. How do shrimp protect themselves from predators? Shrimp are at the bottom of the aquatic food chain and hence they have to protect themselves from a plethora of natural predators. Predators include larger marine creatures like whales and sharks. Shrimp are also eaten by crabs, sea urchins, starfish, and marine birds. Shrimp rely heavily upon their well-developed senses of touch, taste, and sight to maneuver around the potential hazards they come across during their lives. Their elongated antennae are used to both feel and taste their surroundings. Most shrimp are extremely quick to dart away when they detect danger, and the length of their antenna provides the body and vital organs with a margin of safety when danger is detected. The eyes of a shrimp are on movable stalks with independent depth perception, yet another amazing feature that helps them remain aware of their surroundings. A shrimp's color is also affected by its natural environment. Some subspecies may alter their hue to blend in with their environment. Shrimp in tropical and subtropical environments are vibrantly colored, while others are translucent, making it harder for predators to detect them. Another way that shrimp avoid predators is by migrating daily between the surface, where they feed at night, and deeper water during the day. So, do shrimp have hearts in their heads? Shrimp have their hearts located in the thorax region, which is right after the head. 
And since the head and the thorax of a shrimp have a single exoskeleton, it appears as though the heart is actually in the shrimp's head. The head and thorax fuse to form a single exoskeleton, which is protected by a special shell layer called the carapace, which is tougher and thicker than the shell that protects the rest of the shrimp. The carapace is actually made of six different segments, which make them stronger and tougher than the muscular abdomen of the shrimp. Hence, they naturally prove to be the perfect place for internal organs such as the heart to be situated. The carapace usually covers the gills and also encloses the shrimp's brain within. What is the difference between shrimp and prawn? On top of the fact that both Brits and Aussies refer to both species as prawns, shrimp and prawn are still frequently confused to be the other. While they do appear to be quite similar on the outside, there are a few ways to differentiate between them both. A good rule of thumb to differentiate between the two is size. Shrimp are often relatively smaller than prawns. Another nuanced visual distinguisher setting shrimp apart is the distinct three segments of their bodies, with the middle segment overlapping the front and rear portion. Prawns, lacking such body segmentation, have straighter bodies than shrimp. If you really want to know which crustacean you have purchased or caught, just check the shell. If the second segment overlaps the first and third, you've got a shrimp. If the segments overlap down the abdomen, you've got a prawn. There are other genetic differences too, especially in the way each of them reproduce. Most varieties of shrimps carry their eggs on the undersides of their bodies, while female prawns do not brood eggs, but instead shed them into the currents, where they grow independently. The Use of Cleaner Shrimp Ever wonder why Jacques the shrimp from Finding Nemo was referred to as a decontaminator? Well, you'd be amazed to learn that there's in fact a real scientific explanation to it. The use of chemicals to treat parasite illnesses in farmed fish is common in aquaculture. Cleaner fish biocontrols are being utilized as an alternative to pharmaceuticals in fish farming. Cleaner fish, however, are vulnerable to some of their clients' parasites, and their supply is primarily dependent on wild collection. Cleaner shrimp, on the other hand, are not vulnerable to fish ectoparasites and may be consistently produced in captivity. Such cleaner shrimps serve in vital roles as cleaners that help rid host fishes of external parasites and fungi, bacteria, and dead tissue found on the skin. The use of the shrimp is currently being researched further by marine biologists. Shrimp also contribute significantly to the cleanup of water bodies and, by association, the preservation of the environment. There are numerous tiny particles and other contaminants present in water bodies that may cause them to become contaminated. Shrimp act as scavengers and gather up every little item on the bottom and clean the water by digesting the insects that pollute it. Tell us in the comments below what you love most about shrimp, and not just their taste! And give us a like for more fun content. See you next time.